Pleasure to have Phillies manager Joe Girardi with us as uh, we count down to spring training. And uh, I guess, Joe, first of all, welcome to Reading. Uh, uh, from what I've been told, you you were here a while back with Pittsfield. Back. So yes, uh, yes. what are your memories of your time? Pittsfield Let's go back Cubs. a little bit. Yeah, um, I, I remember the outlet malls, mm -hmm. right? So as a minor league player, when you're not making a lot of money, the outlet malls were very attractive. But I also uh, remember, and I think it was on August 7th, 1988, Frank Molino um, tagged up on a fly ball to right field and I was blocking home plate so he lowered his left shoulder ran into me in the first game of a double header and um, about a half an hour later 45 minutes later when the game was over Frank and I were awaiting the doctor to put both our shoulders back in place so um, Frank I still remember you um, and uh, we laughed about it it was painful for both of us and uh, that's what I remember and the rules have slightly changed to protect yes. catchers since then uh, like a lot of things in baseball the time from your introductory press conference to now, what have you been doing to get ready for the season? Because here we are only three weeks away from pitchers and catchers. Discussions with players, um, talking to front office uh, a lot about the players that we have and, and players that we've acquired, um, spending time with the R&D department, um, the trainers going over the health of the players and what to expect and you know who we might have to go a little bit slower in spring training, when certain people might get back if they're not going to be ready opening day all the little things and and just getting out in the community um i've been back to philly about four or five times and always get around and go to different restaurants and been to sixers game went to the army navy game um, saw the eagles play in, in miami so just getting out and about so a picture from a few days ago with you and charlie manuel you guys got yeah. together for either breakfast or lunch what was that like because you two go back uh several years even going back to the 09 world series yeah th that was great it was great to see charlie and i sat with his wife and um and I had already eaten. He was having some breakfast, and we talked a lot about managing in Philadelphia mm -hmm. and the players. I mean, obviously, he's very familiar with the players because he was on the coaching staff. We talked about the hitters a lot and just, you know, what it was like to manage here and the expectations and how he dealt with the city and the fans. And um, he, he was very helpful. And um, I love Charlie. I mean, Charlie has been a great baseball man for a long, long time. I mean, I can go back to... You know, he was a thorn in my side as a player when he was, you know, teaching all those Indians hitters how to bash, and, and we were playing against them in playoff series. So just a great baseball man, but just as important, just a great man, and uh, loved our time together. Your two years off the field when you were broadcasting with MLB Network and with Fox, how well versed did you get with the Phillies? I know you did a couple of their games, yeah. and being in the studio, how did you familiarize yourself with the team? Well, um, I probably did about four or five games. Some of them were on the road, some of them were here. You know, I, I did a game in Washington, I did a game in Chicago. Um, so I'm come back in a game in Chicago and, and, and saw the fight and the determination in that club. But you know, as you're preparing to do a game, when whether you're in the studio or for me, we're broadcasting. You know, I watched all the pitchers. I watched the starter that I was going to see that night and all the relievers. And I think I have a list of about 19 relievers in my phone because they had so many injuries and they kept changing. So I got a chance to see the depth of the organization uh, as well, which I think will be helpful for me this year. Especially because you're going from the American League to the National League. You're always known at handling your bullpen in New York. Now that you have the National League style, does it make it more fun for you because you have to maneuver and uh, double switch and things like that? Yeah, it, it definitely uh, is more interesting, right? Because you have to, you know, you can't run out of players and you have to be prepared for everything. I think adding the one player to the roster is going to help in a lot of the situations. But um, you can constantly carry eight guys in your bullpen and not worry about running out of position players. And so I think that will be helpful. But I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I always enjoyed, as an American League manager, mm -hmm. managing in National League ballparks. And I guess going back to 2009, what are your recollections from them playing in Philadelphia as the opposing manager? Just a great team, a great fan base that was very uh, emotional, very passionate, very loud, um, intimidating for other teams to come in here. And that's what I look forward to is our fans really, um, you know, being who they are and uh, cheering for us and making it difficult on the other team. And we look forward to seeing you down in spring training and especially for opening day, those red pinstripes look good on you, Joe. Yes, they will. And I'm sure you're looking forward to some warmer weather. You know it. Yeah. Nice, Joe. Yeah.